All right, guys, in today's video, I'm going to talk about how I use credit to make money without any money, none of my own money. All right, before I get started, though, let me know in the comments real quick if this is your first time. If this is your first time, let me know in the comments. Uh, this is the channel where we talk about leveraging credit to create cash flow. We talk about business and we talk about finance. All right, let's get straight into it. So, again, the title of this video is How I Use Credit Cards to Make Money Without Any Money. All right. So, first thing you need to understand is we use credit cards as a foundation, as a leverage, as a debt tool to create cash flow. All right. So I made this little diagram here and at the core of it is the credit cards, right? So we use credit cards. We use OPM, other people's money. We leverage it to create cash flow, to create income. Um, that way we're not using, we're coming out of pocket zero uh, and we're not using any of our own money, even if you're broke. All right. So you could be broke. You could bar, you could use, you could get a credit card, get a proof of credit cards, leverage our credit card, right? You don't want to invest into liabilities. You don't want to invest into designer stuff. You want to invest into things that produce income. Um, and that way you, you're coming out of pocket as you're leveraging and it's easier to scale when you're using other people's money. So at the core, as you can see in this uh, diagram, uh, this little presentation I made, it's credit cards. Now you can use the credit cards for something like rental properties, something I did, uh, have personal experience with that. So I purchased uh, my duplex, an investment property using credit cards. So what I did was, uh, now you can use your personal credit cards. However, a couple of things you want to keep in mind, a personal credit card, if you max it out, let's just say you have a $20,000 uh, personal credit card and you max that personal credit card, it's going to hurt your utilization, which is going to hurt your score. All right. So you don't want to do that. If you have great personal credit, you want to apply for business credit and business credit simply means business credit cards, because the upside of that or the, the, the benefits of that is that business credit cards do not report to your personal credit. Uh, the utilization does not report. So I, as opposed to a personal, so a business credit card, if I have a 25, 20, a 20 to $25,000 limit, and I use $25,000 of that available limit on the business side, that utilization does not report to my personal side. So my personal credit score is going to remain intact. It's not going to be affected. So, um, so what I did was I borrowed, I use, I'm not borrowed. I, I leveraged a business credit card at 0%, something like a Chase Inc. business credit card. I took the money off the credit card. I used that as the down payment for my property. I used, it was a duplex, so it's two units. The one unit was paying back the debt. The other unit was paying back the mortgage. After that debt was paid by the tenant, now I was cash flowing net positive every single month um, cash flow. I was making rental income from that. And the other unit was paying the mortgage while also bringing down the, the principal balance, right? And it gained some equity in the process in the last couple of years. I'm actually in the process of, of selling that property. It's on the contract and I can make a, I'm going to make a significant amount. Um, guys, let me know in the comments if you want me to make a video about that, how I make, how I use credit cards to make over seven, it's probably going to be around 70,000 after all all the fees and all that. Guys, let me know in the comments if you want me to make a video about that. And another thing is, don't forget to subscribe. Hit that bell notification. That way you can notify whenever I post a new video. Also, smash that like button. Smash that like button if you like videos like this. That way it keeps YouTube keeps pushing it. So another example that you can use, you can leverage credit cards for it would be something like Airbnb. Airbnb is great because the cash flow is a lot better than a traditional renter, right? A traditional renter or a long-term tenant because it's more like a mini hotel. If you really think about it, it's like a business. It's not like, um, well, let me bring this out. Let me get this out of here. It's not like a, uh, a long-term tenant where it's a set income. It's a set rental. Like, oh, if I have a long-term tenant, it's like $1,000 a month. But uh, Airbnb, it can fluctuate because it's per night. And there can be nights like a July 4th weekend where you can charge four, five, six hundred $600 a night. And you can make what you make in a month from a traditional rental long-term tenant in one or two nights. So that's why it's uh, Airbnb would be a great way to use the credit cards to fund that Airbnb business because with Airbnb, what you're going to do is you can, you're going to need the furniture, you need to design it, you need the down payment, security deposits and all that, but you can put that all on the credit card, right? You don't, there's, you don't have to get fancy and try to liquid. You don't really necessarily need cash. Everything can be done through the credit card. And again, you're going to be utilizing 0% interest business credit cards, um, usually for 12 months. And once you do that, you can, from the cash flow that you produce from that Airbnb, you can use that to pay back the debt. 
and then everything after that is net profit, right? Another thing, like same example would be something like a, a, a multifamily, similar to that. I have a duplex, but you can use that for single family. So it would, it would be the same concept. But brick and mortar, um, so what you can do with a brick and mortar, you can fund for marketing. You can you can even fund your payroll with a credit card using a system like ADP. You can do, um, you know, equipment, buy some new equipment, uh, you know, fix the, fix the, the, you can fix the the brick and mortar if it's like outdated. You can buy some new stuff. Uh, you can buy inventory and things like that. Um, I actually own a piece of restaurant and I use my business credit cards as well. I leverage other people's money to uh, you know to buy inventory, to buy equipment and things like that. I also get the benefits of the points. Um, so another thing that you can do with credit cards is invest it into something like trucking. Trucking is a great uh, vehicle as well because Again, you're leveraging other people's money. You can either put a down payment for the truck and, and do that for the for financing the truck. Uh, you can fund, you can use the credit card for gas and things like that. So that's another avenue that you can use. A really good space that you can be in with credit cards that are really, really uh, beneficial is something like e-commerce, like uh, Amazon, Walmart, uh, Facebook Marketplace. The reason is because uh, it's usually high spend, but you get reward points in return as well. And if you if you don't have, especially like something like uh, if you have to buy the inventory up front or buy it in bulk, you can use a credit card like an like a Amazon Plum card where it's like a, a 60 day net 30 term or again, 0% interest credit cards and you can fund the inventory. And then as you keep, as you keep making sales, you keep paying back that, keep paying back what you borrowed, uh, but it's going to be 0% for 12 months. It's not, it's like the same as cash. So something like, Vending machines is another great tool. Similar to that, produces great cash flow, little upfront costs, personal brand, invest in your personal brand with like video editors doing a lot of content and things like that. So this is some of the, or these are some of the ways that I use credit cards to make money. Even if I don't have, if I had zero, if I had zero money, what I would do is just get a 0% interest business credit card. Okay. And then invest into a business that can produce cash flow, right? You don't want to invest into designer. You don't want to invest into liabilities. You want to invest into things that make income, right? Because credit is not income. Make, let me say that again, because I think a lot of you miss that. Credit is not income. Just because you have credit doesn't mean you have income. You have to use, use and leverage that credit to produce cash flow, to create income. That's my time. My name is Toby Rosario. Peace. Guys, let me know in the comments if you have any questions. Peace.